Tail tape, Jackie. Okay, I'm Shaniqua. Over here. Don't worry. You'll get picked next. They always get picked last. I'll take generic. That's generic. Thanks for picking me, Tonya. Hmm. Better you than Stinky Orion. What a loser. Yeah, what a loser. Choosing teams always brings out the best in people. Hey, Mr. Johnson, do we get an email? <laughs> oh, it's a dog. It's a big dog. What is it with Roger and the G-Golly mailman? Is it the uniform? And you don't see something we don't, that's for sure, fire sure. They do? What is it, Roger? What do you see? I'm warning you. Don't be afraid. He's really gentle. <laughs> uh, looks like nothing but G golly bills, 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 don't you know? Then, will you look at this? You got mail, Bobby. I got mail? I got mail! I got mail! I got mail! I got mail! Oh, oh that's a pain. <laughs> Give me the clicker, like, now, okay? I got mail! Give it to me, you little brat! Let go! Uh, Mr. Selfish! I got mail! Oh, yeah? Who's it from? I don't know. I can't read. Uh, maybe Santa's finally answering my Christmas letter? Get a clue, dweeb. It's April. Well, it could be from... from... somebody. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Ed McSomebody with Publisher's Cleaning House, and boy, have I got a surprise for you, Bobby Generic! That's generic. Right you are, sir. But that's not all. You've just won a gazillion billion dollars! Wow! Yoo-hoo! Like, hello, Bobby. Huh? <laughs> like, you make a better door than a window, get it? Oh, yeah? Well, it takes one to know one. Well, I had to say something. Dad, will you read my mail to me? I'd be glad to, son. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like it's uh it's an invitation. Oh! Light bulb. That reminds me. Auntie Ruth invited us over on Saturday for her famous Harry malt souffle. Gee, do we have to go, honey? I, I don't know if my stomach can take it. Oh, now, then I said we would is all... What? Dad, Dad, who, who's my invitation from? Oh, uh, Stinky Orion. He's having a birthday party. Stinky Orion? Oh, do I have to go? Yuck. I don't think my stomach can take it. I don't like Stinky. Oh? And why don't you like Stinky, if I may be so brave to ask? I don't know. Because nobody else does? Well, for crying in the sandbox there, that's not a reason not to like somebody, though. Okay. He's Stinky. 
Well, stinky or not, how would you like it if you invited people to a party and they didn't, gee golly, come then? But, Mom... And besides, you'll have a good time there now yet. Other kids will be there, and there'll be cake and party favors and balloons, probably, and all sorts of... Party favors? I love party favors. I'm gonna get party favors, and that's why I'm going to Stinky's birthday. Well, great. I'll call Stinky's mother and RSVP. In other words, tell her you're coming. Well, I'll be. You have another letter, Bobby. I do? I got more mail. I got more mail! Uh, like, move over. You are totally crowding me. You move over. Space Invader, move! I'm claustrophobic. Get away from me. I got more mail. And who from? The Easter Bunny. Okay, I'm not falling for that one. Okay, then you're all set for stinkies. It sounds like a doozy of a party. Mrs. Orion says it's gonna have a landscaping theme. Now, doesn't that just sound like some real green thumb fun? No. Wow. Captain Squash wrote me a letter. Dear Bobby, I am writing you this letter to say that this is a gee golly... Party invitation from Trevor Schwartz, don't you know? Well, would you look at this now, here. Captain Squash is gonna make a Lollapalooza in-person appearance. Yay! Let me see Captain Squash. Let me see Captain Squash. Uh-oh, rain it in there. Cool your jets there, hon. You're not going to this party. I'm not? How come? Oh, because it's on Saturday. The same day as Stinky's party, that's why. I know. I just won't go to Stinky's. Well, no. Uh-oh. Bobby? Bobby? No, no. Uh-oh. Hold the take backs right there, Mr. Man. You have to go to Stinky's party. He's counting on you, don't you know? He's counting on me? Four. <laughs> five. Oh. Oh, I hope he can't count very high. Well, all I'm saying, hon, is that you made a promise, and now you're gonna have to gee golly keep it. If I can't go to Trevor's party, I'll miss Captain Squash. It's Saturday, Webley, and I gotta find a way of getting out of going to Stinky's party so I can go to Trevor's and see Captain Squash. Kelly, how do you get out of doing something you don't want to do? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, well, if it's like going out with somebody that was like totally lame or like a nerd or something, I just say, I have to wash my hair. And then I do, so I'm not lying. But Stinky doesn't understand washing. And Trevor's gonna have party favors and Captain Squash and... Wait, party favors? And squash? Oh, party poppers. Oh, that's gonna be some kind of blowout, Babbo. Um, hey, uh, <clears throat> think I could come with you? Maybe. If you can tell me how to take my word back and not go to Stinky's party even though Mom says he's counting on me. Well, uh, you could always do what I did when I decided I wanted to get out of jury duty. Who was that, Uncle Ted? Uh, say you have a really bad rash. Thanks anyways, Uncle Ted. Rashes don't scare Stinky. <laughs> yeah, didn't work with the judge either. Well, Mom says I gotta go to Stinky's party, but I really want to go to Trevor's. What am I supposed to do? Eh, look on the bright side, Dweeb. Maybe a meteor will hit the Earth, the whole planet will be destroyed, and you won't have to go. Really? Nah, I'm just yanking your chain. Oh. Just make up an excuse. Yeah, a excuse. Thanks, Derek. And Stinky lives really far from here? Way past the park, and our schools could be that we got lost. Yeah, that's it. We can say couldn't come, cause we got lost. Well, for corn's sake, son, I didn't know that Stinky there lived clear out here in the Gigali jungle. I told you it was far. <laughs> What a 
Captain's precious spaceships. Well, isn't that a Roswell Area 51 piece of luck there now? Yeah. Prepare for takeoff, Bobby! Captain Squash! That was a close one, Bobby. We've skipped worse, Captain Squash. Fun stuff, this way. Stinky's party, this way. Oh, oh, no you don't. We're going this way. <laughs> You're going to Stinky's party, little manzy. And that's that. But, no excuses. But, but I, I, want, I want to see Captain Squash. He's... He's my hero. Oh, there now, Bobby, hon. Oh, maybe we can figure something out. I know. What if I let you go to Trevor's for an hour, and then I take you on over to Stinky's? Yay! That's great. But can I go to Stinky's for just an hour and then spend the rest of the time at Trevor's? Please, please, please. No. I'm putting my gee golly foot down there now. When moms put their foot down, it really means no. Okay, now we've got to get a move on and uh, pick out the birthday presents for birthday boy Stinky and birthday boy Trevor. Okay. Can I have this for me? No. This? No. This, this, this? No, no, no. This isn't your birthday. No. 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 For such a fun place, kids sure do cry a lot in toy stores. Let's get it up here now and pay for these honking trucks so we can go home and get them wrapped in time for Stinky and Trevor's parties, don't you know? I love that song. <laughs> Stinky's present is wrapped, and Trevor's present is wrapped. And now I'm ready to party! Mom, when do I get the party favors? Well, for the cry eye, hon, you have to get to the party first, don't you know? Oh, and don't forget, you're only staying here at Trevor's for an hour. Then Kelly's coming to pick you up and take you to Stinky's for the duration. Mom sure do know how to ruin a good time. Bobby, over here. Jackie! You want to go on the trampoline with me, Bobby? Okay. Did they pass out the party favors yet? No. Oh. Jump twice, then depart the area for your own safety. Sign here. Sign? In handwriting? But we only know how to print. Next. What do you want to enjoy now, Bobby? Look for party favors! Hi, I'm Sunshine. Want me to paint a rainbow on your cheek? Uh, no thanks. Do you know where the party favors are? Try around the side of the house. Wow! Captain Squash! Give me a break, kid. I don't go on for another hour. There's a woman trapped inside Captain Squash! Party favors! One bag of party favors per child only. Please move along. Okay, let's go, party boy. It's time to go to Stinky's. <laughs> okay, so like, what is it anyway? Kelly, it's a party favor. Isn't it great? 
Okay, so this must be the place. Okay, mom says you're supposed to be totally nice and like, gee golly, good guests, something, I don't know, random. Okay, and she wants to hear everything about the landscaping thing when you get home. Dumb landscaping thing. That Stinky doesn't even have any party favors. Stinky? Like, why do they call him that anyway? Do you like the smell of stinky cheese? <laughs> Yuck! Then you don't ever want to smell stinky without her shoes on. Hi, Bobby. Am, am I the only one who came to your party? You're the only one I invited. If you really want to enjoy yourself, honey, whatever you do, don't let Stinky take his shoes off. Greetings, party guests. Meeker and Snert here. We're your party partners, the people who are going to show you how to party like landscapers. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, you got my mouth open oh, that time, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Hey, hey, more careful there, Junior. Sorry, the stinky one's getting dizzy. It's time for our road trip! Wow! What's a road trip? I'm not saying it again. No signature, no trampoline. Got it? Hi, Ed City! Mwah! Yep, hold the phone. Authorized vehicles only. That's us. Authorized. <laughs> it makes you proud to be an American. Thank you, Doodle Door Dot. This is great. Cake will only be given to those with proper ID. That was great, Stinky. I'm glad I came to your party. Me too. So, tell me about your big day there, hon. How was Stinky's party then, anyway? Well, we got hit with mud, and the hose sprayed on us. We fell out of a wheelbarrow, and we went to a car wash. Aw, oh, hon, I'm sorry. No, Mom, it was great. Stinky's party was a lot funner than Trevor's. Guess who finagled front row seats to the Elvis Impersonators concert Saturday night? Who? Me. That's who. Oh, Howard, you are just my gee golly hero, don't you know? I thought we were going to add Roos for dinner on Saturday. Didn't we tell her we would? Oh, well, I guess I could tell her that your back went out again, winko winko, huh, Howard? That could get us off the hook, don't you know? Good idea, Martha. So, Sport, did you learn anything today? Yep. I learned that keeping your word can be a really good thing. And I learned that parents are good at giving advice, but not very good at taking it. Yeah, well, from the mouths of babes, they say. <laughs> Better call Aunt Ruth and find out what time she wants us for dinner, Martha. Oh, yeah, I'm way ahead of you there, Howard. I love being a kid. 